Hey guys, so this is like my fourth time making this video, so hopefully this one will work with the sound. It's really obnoxious. But um, anyways, I wanted to make a quick, brief video, basically a kind of like two-week wrap-up of what I've been reading. And these three books are books that I have not cared for. Um, I kind of wanted to just make this really quick. So the first book that I did not care for, I don't have anymore because it was a library book and I returned it. But that book is Queen of the Dead by Stacey Cade. And I did not enjoy that book. Um, I felt like there was way too many things going on. There was way too many plot things. And I felt like she wasn't um, tying up the loose ends and I felt like everything was going everywhere and it was really chaotic and then she brings in like this really random plot twist that was really weird and um, two of them actually and it was just like seriously come on so um, I didn't care for that book at all um, it, the first book was really charming and sweet and delightful and really light read and this one was a little heavy and a lot of information about cults and weird stuff like that and I just didn't care for it as much. The beginning was okay and I was like all right this is interesting and then I started to get into the middle and I was just like okay weird not happening and I just ended up spoiling myself because I didn't care to read it. Uh, hopefully the next book will be better but I just thought the ending was really weird and I feel like she's getting this author is getting way ahead of herself in all of these plot holes and just like gaping things that you can drive a Mack truck through. So didn't really like it. I was kind of confused like what happened to this person or that thing or what? why did that happen and she didn't really give you any um, conclusion to any of that. So unfortunately I gave that a two and a half out of five, um, maybe even a two. I just didn't really care for it too much unfortunately. The first book I loved but this one just it went off on a way different tangent than I thought it would and I don't think that's a good tangent unfortunately. So the second book I didn't like I still have and this is Wildfire by Karsten Knight and um, I didn't care for this one at first. Um, I, I read it uh, about like 30 pages. I read it and then I was like okay eh, I might like it so I'm going to put it down and try something else and then come back to it. So when I came back to it I read about 200 pages more and I just couldn't do it. Um, I thought Ashlyn was a real bitch. Um, I know that the writer was trying to make her seem like flirty and kind of funny and like how a guy hits you and that means he likes you and it was kind of like that. And I thought that she was a little bit too self-assured and a little bit too um, into herself and I thought that it came across really bitchy and really rude and she's just downright mean to people and I didn't like that at all and I think her humor was really just stupid unfortunately I just didn't think that her jokes were funny or anything she did um, the other characters weren't very strong characters um, this book was kind of one of those books that I didn't care for either way I was really impartial to it I didn't care if I finished it I didn't care if I read it read it so um, and I was really excited because I, I thought the plot was really interesting and the beginning was pretty good but um, then you started to see Ashlyn's true colors and it just was irritating to me and especially how she spoke with the um, park guard. I can't remember his name right now, but um, the park, the, the like the force park guy at first. I didn't like that at all and it was just really annoying and I felt like the characters were really weak besides Ashlyn. She was too strong. So kind of an abrasive character and I, some sometimes that works for characters, but for this one I just didn't really care for it at all. So unfortunately that got a 3 out of 5 for me. I could barely even finish it. And then the last book, I am not going to give a rating, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But it is Dear Bully, and it's by those people. Well, it's edited by Megan Keeley Hall and Carrie Jones. And the reason I'm not going to rate this book is because I don't think I should be in a position to rate somebody's experience. Um, this is 70 stories of people, authors, who have been bullied or whatnot. And I just don't think I am in a position to give a rating, a star rating on their personal um, um, like stories. So I just thought that it would be kind of be um, presumptuous of me and I just didn't think that it would be right. So I'm not going to rate this one but um, it was a good book. I kind of got bored though because 
the stories are kind of the same. Um, like they were bullied, they told their story and how they got over it. And it just, I know that the book is about bullies and I know that I was kind of expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it to be pretty much the same story just with a different author and maybe some different names but it's pretty much the same thing for the most part some of the stories were good and some of them were really sad and um, the facts that Ellen Hopkins gave at the beginning of the book were really shocking and really sad and they really make you think about um, like if you are mean to somebody and you don't even know it like you might say oh you smell or something like that and you don't even mean it but it does hurt someone's feelings and so it really made me think that I'm going to be a little bit kinder in the way I speak to people. So that did make me happy about this book because, I, you know, you guys know me. I love books that make me think about what I do and how I act towards people and how I handle things. And so that was really good about this book. But unfortunately, I did feel a little bit bored with the story. So I kind of, um, I read about 130 pages like straight through and then I started to get a little bit restless and a little bit bored so what I did is I just picked the authors that I was really excited about reading I just read their stories and then I decided to call it a day but um yeah just is I still recommend that you guys read it but I like like I would any other book I would probably pick out some favorites and just read that um I still think that this is a great book for teens to read if you guys are um, in high school or middle school or even sometimes elementary unfortunately it's getting to that point but yeah it was still whoops it was still really good and the stories were pretty good um it was just kind of like the same thing I think this is the kind of book where you would need to read like one story every couple days to kind of you know like refresh yourself but not bombard yourself with it like I think I probably should have like read this book along with another book so I'd probably like read a couple stories then and then like read a, like a few chapters just to kind of get a break from the bully 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 so um I think that's what went wrong with this book but it's still I still recommend that you guys read it it's really interesting um the facts are just heartbreaking and oh my gosh because I was abused and um bullied when I was in middle school and high school and even sometimes after high school and I remember how bleak and how sad and how just upset you got after being bullied and it's it's a horrible it's a horrible thing to go through and nobody should have to go through that but I just didn't feel like this book would be a good book just to read straight through I didn't devour it I didn't hate it but I didn't like devour it either so unfortunately um so yeah those are the books that i didn't really care for um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon i'm going to do a new um review on unearthly and i will make that separate from this video because i did enjoy that book so stay tuned and i hope you guys have a great night and i will talk to you soon bye